Hello everyone, welcome back to Toy Tirade. Today, we're going to be looking at the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera, and yes, that is a mouthful, which is, is a bit of a shame. But anyway, let's start off with the headlights. Now, if any of you remember the Viper review, you'll remember that I have a distaste for headlights that are just stickers, because frankly, to me, it looks quite... It looks quite cheap, like they cut corners because they couldn't add plexiglass to the headlights, like they did with the Fiesta, which got a 5 out of 5. But yeah, so that's what they've done. They've added stickers for headlights, and it's worse than the Vipers is, because at least the Vipers was clear, whereas the Lamborghini, it looks just, it, it's just a blob. It's smothered on there. It's terrible. I really don't like it, because as I said, it looks cheap. And even with the logo, it's off. It's not even centered on the car, as you can see here. It's uncentered. And again, it looks cheap. Now, with the logos, they're tiny. I wouldn't want them to mold a plexiglass logo, because that really would be a waste. But if they're going to do a sticker, it should be even on the car, because it isn't. And I believe the Viper had the same issue. More so with the stripes, because those were also uneven. Now, any, now, all of you should, well, you guys should know by now that I prefer quality sort of over quantity when it comes to these cars. And that's sort of what the review, what this review series revolves around, is the quality of these cars. And I'm not saying Hot Wheels should make a car, you know, on the levels of Auto World or something. Or, sorry, is it Auto World or Auto Art? I mean Auto Art or Auto World. In fact, it doesn't even matter. The point being, though, I'm not asking that they make something on that level because they have Hot Wheels Collector Series, which already does that. What I am saying is that they need to make something of better quality anyway. I mean, the paint job is nice, it's metallic, it's not flat like on this, for example, where it is flat. It's, it's a nice red, but it's very flat red, but anyway. The only thing is that there's a little bit of, like, a neon blue outlining to the paint, which is really weird. It might not come across well on camera, but you might be able to see a little bit. And so it almost looks like, it almost looks like they painted the outer edges first, and then the Hot Wheels exec said, No, no, it needs to be darker! And then they just painted everything else a darker color while leaving that sort of aftertone on it. I mean, it's kind of cool because it's like a pearlescent paint job. However, it also looks, it's, it's a bit of a weird mix of colors. If it's supposed to be a pearlescent paint job, then that's cool, but personally, I'd kind of rather it be... Not a flat paint job, but I would prefer it to be more consistent. Now, you're probably saying, but Cody, if you like, you know, high quality stuff, you should be terribly angry at this plastic on the front and rear ends and what the spoiler's made out of. And to that, I say, no, I'm not. As I said in the Fiesta review, to actually use a really nice plastic to make this. If it is plastic, of course, but it's still a nice plastic nonetheless. So it does actually look low quality, not to mention because it's gray, not black. It adds a sort of two-tone to the to the paint. See? And it also feels nice. It's crisp. It's sharp. It really adds to the car. So overall, for quality, I'd have to say 3.35. It's not bad, but again, those stickers... I can't stand those stickers for headlights. And the paint, I think, could be a little bit better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time in the next Toy Tyree video where quality is the best policy. And yes, I just made that up right now. Hope you enjoyed.